Well, we did say VeChain was going to pump. Is it finished? Will we see more? Let's have a look in today's video. What's going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I of course am JB and in today's video we're going to take a look at the price action for VeChain, what's happening across the one hour, the one day and the one week timeframes. Yes, we had a look previously, we were expecting a pump to come for VeChain and boy oh boy did we see a pump. Are we finished? Is there more in the tank, guys? Let's have a look at in today's video. Before we do get there, though, you can see that like button, you can see the subscribe, and of course, you can see the bell. Please tap on all three. It greatly helps the channel out when you guys do that for us. We really appreciate it when you, you know, you, you do your bit to help the channel out. It helps us out. Guys, let's get on into this one. VeChain paired up with USDT. Uh, Binance is the data source for this one hour chart. So we did talk previously about this pump to the upside to come. And yeah, boy oh boy did we see a, a nice pump here for VeChain. Roughly 23-24% I believe. I think we've seen 23.65% move to the upside, which is absolutely fantastic. Yes, we were talking about the potential to see a retrace coming on down before that pump. But neither here nor there, guys. We have seen this pump to the upside come. And... For all intents and purposes, we could be complete where we lie. Let's have a look at this one for today. So we were looking for this move up towards the Z wave target area between 2.2 cent and 2.5 cent, breaking that previous high of 2.08 cent here, the previous B wave high. So we now know that we, this X wave is the move that is in play, that we have seen this move come up here. And, you know, we could technically see this one as complete internally here. We do have an A, B and C structure internally to this, guys. Let's just quickly mark this one up so you can see what it is that's actually going on here. If we zoom into this, I have to remember a lot of you guys will be watching this on your cell phones, your mobile phones, wherever it is you're based in the world. We do have this potential five wave move here to the upside, rounding out the second half of this move, where once again we could have a potential five wave move coming up here um let's just do a couple of quick sense checks on this one so we take the 100 move here bring it over to that wick low which we're looking at as the fifth wave and we can see we smashed completely on the one to one fib level at 2.374 cent so we know that for all intents and purposes guys that this move here to the upside could be complete for v chain meeting that one to one fib level which is fantastic however what do we like to talk about here, what I personally like to talk about time and time again when we are looking at these charts is what is really going on here and the indicators it is that we're using. So of course, I'm going to start off here looking at Smart Money Concepts. Now Smart Money Concept is bullish on VeChain, quite rightly so. We can see a bullish change of character here on this push to the upside. Now, if you're a viewer of my videos, often I like to dis you know discuss what is actually going on here. So we can see we have had that fantastic run to the upside. But what do we tend to see happen when we see a change of character? We see a retrace into the previous area of high volume which we're pretty much there or there about. We tend to see this retrace happen, retesting that change of character or that character that we have just broke. Then we tend to see another move to the upside. So have we got the potential to come up here and test the higher levels of this Z wave um, target area? There is a potential for this. So this retracement we have seen, just eyeballing this one, it looks like we've kind of came back towards the 618, yeah, slightly more than 0 0.5, round about the 618, in fact, let's just measure this, guys. Uh, there's no point in the eyeball in this one whilst we're on a video. Um, oh, yeah, we did. We bounced just off of the 618 fib level at 2.082 cent. So overall, we have seen a fantastic retrace here. In this move to the downside, we would be targeting out the 50 to 88 percent so we have that um, typical retracement area we will be looking for this move to come down to we have seen this come on down to here what can we expect to happen next if we could put the correct colors on here so we do have the potential for this to be an even larger a b and c structure have we got the potential for this to happen? Well, if we look at the, the, the bigger view in the charts here, yes, the one hour is overbought. We are coming up to test out the EMAs, but we'll get onto that shortly. But the four hour and the eight hour stochastic RSIs are in the oversold position. They are still looking for, you know, further pushes to the upside. Smart Money Concepts has a strong low. It also has a weak high here on the charts. So all in all, it's telling us that, well, essentially we are still bullish here. When we do come into the early EMAs right on in here, 
First of all, we have the hourly 200 EMA sitting lower than the hourly 50 EMA sitting lower than the hourly 50 SMA. This is in a bullish setup. You want to see the 50 SMA higher than the 50 EMA, which are both then higher than the 200 EMA. These three in themselves are obviously a bullish sign. So I do think we could come up to test this EMA uh, equilibrium out here and come back down again before we do set next move to the upside but everything on here is telling us you know that we do still have progression to the upside to come when we move over onto that daily chart well it's even more telling when we see it here once again we'll start off with the emas the 50 ema in red sitting higher than the 50 sma in green yes we'd like to see that 50 sma push up a little bit more here and then we have that 50 that 200 ema sitting below both which obviously um is kind of the right way we want this to be we want to see this move the 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 short term price action move faster than the the, the longer term price action so that's obviously it's good in in my opinion what we have going on here as for structures, what kind of structures do we see playing out? Well, the, the, the structure we were looking at there would see this as a giant A, B and C structure, bringing us up towards that target area, which we have been watching for such a long time now, between 2.2 .2 and 2.5 cent. And we still have this fair value gap from um, April 2023 between 2.4 and 2.5 cent. I think we still have a great um, chance opportunity to be pushing up to these levels we may come down and test out this 50 ema in red here currently sitting around about the two cent area which is entirely fine that's not a problem if it wants to come down and do there we can see the stochastic has the potential to go either way overall it is looking for a correction i do think it is looking to continue the move to the downside and that we may have topped out here at that 2.374 cent level however i do think that overall my gut feeling the structures that we can see playing out are telling us there is still that potential move to come to the upside and we are not quite finished with the highs yet i do like the idea of filling out this fair value gap between 2.4 and 2.57 cent from april 2023 it's been a fantastic run here for VeChain. Um, yeah, it's it fills me with confidence going forward. I love to see VeChain doing so well. So before we do go over onto that weekly chart, we can once again look at the positions of the stochastics. So we can see that the um, the four hour stochastic and of course that eight hour stochastic are both in the oversold position. They are looking for that push to the upside. I am looking for that push to the upside. As we spoke about previously, we came down, we have bounced on that 618 fib level. From here, guys, we'll, we'll just put a little um, box on this chart so that we know for future reference that um, kind of area that we are looking for. We came down to 2.078. And we will be looking for a potential move to the upside here, targeting out, if we could actually draw a box on the chart for today, we will be targeting out 2.071, uh, 2.701 to a low of 2.569. Nice. Very nice. Um, that, will, that will be our target area for this next move to the upside. And that will look something a little bit like this right on in here. Yes, we're doing this live, guys. I do apologize. I probably should have done this before we came onto the video. Let's make this one blue so we know exactly that this is the structure that is playing out and being mapped here. Right. Apologies for the... Um, live charting there guys we had to get that one done we have got that potential the 2.569 very nice to 2.701 cent i do think we have that opportunity to hit that 2.5 cent level and we think about psychology behind numbers 2.5 cent is a very strong psychological number here should we see the price push on up i think we will see great resistance here um lining up with the previous fair value gap lining up with our one to one is it a one to one is it a 1.236 target it's a one to one fib retracement level a lot of things lining up here so overall on this daily chart i do think we have a fantastic opportunity to still see a push up towards 2.5 cent lastly for today guys we move over to that weekly chart where Lo and behold, we have been looking at 2.577 cent. I still think we have that potential. That 50, eh, sorry, that 200 EMA sitting at 2.875. We can see this progressively bringing, eh, coming down as the weeks progress here. Four weeks we have kind of sat sideways in price action, as we can see right here, testing out that 50 weekly EMA, closing above, closing below, closing above potentially closing below this week currently sitting below just now at 2.125 with that 50 EMA being at 2.2 so we can see that the price is fairly static here on the weekly time frame interestingly through the Bollinger Bands with percentile 
we can see an, a previous area here of next to no volatility or zero percentile volatility. If we were to draw this in on the charts here, guys, we could be looking at quite an interesting level if I could actually grab the correct candle wick. So we're going to take this one right on in here and we will take the low of this yeah, the low area here as well. So we have a, a range sitting on the charts right on in here where we did see the price break on out of this range where we're currently consolidating. However, we are coming back down and testing the upper area here. So we know we have an area of interest sitting right here at 1.985 cents. Should we come back into this area, which I do think we will, come back into this area and if we pick up the volume, we've got a high level volume, I think we could see that price, um, you know, tumble down from here. This area in particular at 1.965 cent, we'll leave that on the charts for now, I think is quite a, an interesting level. We found it as resistance, we've turned it into support. Should we come back down again, we will look to turn it into support then turn into resistance and we could see that price break on down. I don't think this bear market is over just yet for VeChain. I think we still have that um, final drop to come to the downside. I think that when that final drop happens, it will be sharp, it will be quick. I do think we have the potential still to push up towards that 2.5 cent level and then we will be looking for that price to drop down one very last time. So what we'll do is draw another box on the charts here. We'll make this one white with a nice green circle or line around it, sorry. Now this one will be between 1.043 and 8.0.843 of a cent. This would be the typical retracement or the target area for this C wave here. Should we see that price push up to the 2.577 cent level? If we see that price go up there, the 1 to 1 retracement is at 1.043 cent, with the 1.236 slightly below at 0.43 of a cent. These are very interesting levels. Of course, internally here we do have the... Z wave target area as well, with the seminal two fib level coming at that nine, uh, 0 0.998 cent. Which, if you guys have watched the v, the V chain videos I've done for quite some time, I have been targeting out 0 0.998 cent for such a long time. It feels like um, at least this full year I've been targeting out that, if not longer. So yes, I don't think anything much has changed here from the weekly perspective. The weekly stochastic in itself is still looking to, for you know quite a healthy correction to come to the downside. The last time we were in that oversold, eh, sorry, that overbought territory, and we've seen the drop to the downside. Well, we did see quite a phenomenal drop indeed, a 60% move. Should we push up towards that? 2.57 cent level well once again we are bringing back in that possibility of one cent for vchain leaving that one there for today though i think i've covered off everything you know that i kind of wanted to cover off in today's video i do hope you've enjoyed it if you've enjoyed the content guys smash up the like button subscribe tap on the bell leave us a comment letting us know what you think of everything going on with vchain and its price targets of course we are looking for another move to the upside we are also looking for a move to the downside over different time frames um, yeah, let us know everything you think of the video for today, guys. We will leave that one there. If you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space. And until next time, have a very nice day.